in last video we have discussed regarding the leverage uh, even we have solved the two sums which is based on the leverage calculation of the operating leverage financial leverage combined leverage and preparation of the income statement in this video we will discuss about the uh, more sums about the leverage already we have go through all the theory now we just discuss this sum from the following details of the X limited prepare the income statement for the year ended 31st December 2014 now students see here here From the following details of the X limited, prepare the income statement for the year ended 31st December 2014. The data which has been given that is the financial leverage to interest 2000, operating leverage 3, variable cost as a percentage of the sales 75% and income tax rate is 30%. So this information has been given. Already they have given the information about the financial leverage and operating leverage. Okay. So here we have to prepare the income statement. So in income statement just see here income statement under the income statement sales is there less variable cost contribution less fixed cost EBIT less interest EBT less tax and finally earning after tax so here we have to prepare this income statement we have to prepare this income statement now in this sum they have given the information about the financial leverage okay so with this help we can calculate the ebit the calculation of EBIT. Okay, so financial leverage is equal to EBIT upon EBT. This is the formula EBIT upon the EBT. Now, with this, I just make some changes in the formula EBIT upon the EBIT minus interest. See, if you see that here. EBIT minus interest is equal to EBT. EBIT minus interest is equal to EBT. So EBT, I just written down like that EBIT minus interest. So we'll put up this figure financial leverage which is given in the sum. See financial leverage is 2 which is given in the sum. So financial leverage 2. EBIT. EBIT minus interest is given in the sum. See, interest is the 2000. So, interest is 2000 is there. Now, we just simplify that 2 into EBIT minus 2000 is equal to EBIT. Correct? So, we will simplify this equation 2 into EBIT is equal to 2 EBIT. 2 into 2000 is equal to minus 4000 is equal to EBIT. So 2 EBIT, here right hand side EBIT we will shift to the left hand side to minus EBIT is equal to 4000. So 2 EBIT minus 1 EBIT is equal to EBIT is equal to 4000. So here we have calculated the EBIT. Understood? So EBIT is in a 4000. Then interest which is given here 2000 so we are deducting the interest from the EBIT EBT is in a 2000 correct further in this sum they have provided information about the income tax rate which is a 30% so 
tax is there 30 percent is there so at the rate of 30 percent 2000 into 30 percent is equal to 600 correct now so 2000 minus 600 it is equal to 1400 that is called as an eat earning after tax or profit after tax okay so we have cleared this much that is enough from the eBIT to eat calculation we have done that okay now further we will go for the calculation of the contribution okay then okay. here see calculation of contribution okay calculation of the contribution that we have to see that so the formula of the operating leverage is equal to contribution upon EBIT. Now in this sum they have given the information about the operating leverage that is a 3. So we just put up that 3 as an operating leverage. Contribution is missing. EBIT we have calculated earlier that is enough 4000 C. So EBIT we have calculated 4000. So here contribution is equal to 4000 into 3 so that is a 12,000 so this is the contribution understood again I am repeating calculation of the contribution so operating leverage is equal to contribution upon EBIT operating leverage which is given in the sum that is a 3 contribution is missing EBIT we have calculated that is in a 4,000 so 4,000 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12,000 that is a contribution okay so here we got the contribution now with this help we are having the figure that is the contribution and the EBIT okay we can calculate the fixed cost okay so 12,000 minus 8,000 is equal to fixed cost see 12,000 minus 8,000 is equal to 4,000 that is the EBIT okay again I am repeating Twelve thousand contribution was there. EBIT is four thousand is there. Okay, so I just here a contribution is equal to fixed cost minus EBIT. Okay, so contribution twelve thousand, fixed cost is missing. EBIT which is enough four thousand. Okay, so therefore twelve thousand is minus four thousand. Okay. Just a moment. See, EBIT is equal to contribution minus fixed cost. Contribution is four thousand. So EBIT is 4000, contribution is in a 12,000 and fixed cost. So here 4000, okay, and minus 12,000, that is the minus fixed cost. So therefore, fixed cost is equal to 8000. So here fixed cost is 8000 is there, okay. So we calculate two figure. Then further we have to calculate the sales and variable cost, okay. So in this sum they provide the information about the variable cost as a percentage of the sales that information has been given. So see here variable cost is what is the percentage 75 percent. So that is enough 75 percent of the sales. So just we assume that sales is enough 100 variable cost is enough 75 percent of sales so 75. So 25 is in a contribution. Okay. We just assume that. Now one more formula I just want to tell you that PV ratio. Okay. PV ratio is equal to contribution upon sales. So in this sum they provided that. Okay. So sales is there. Contribution we calculate 12,000.
ओके एंड पी वी रेशो विच इज अन कम इयर ठीक है ना तो पी वी रेशो दैट हैज बीन ट्रांसफर टू इयर दैट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन अपॉन सेल्स सो ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड अपॉन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट सी इयर फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड तो फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड इज देयर दैट इज अनफ सेल्स सो इयर सेल्स इज अनफ फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड ओके एंड वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज अनफ फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड इज अ सेल्स इज देयर Contribution is twelve thousand. Then balance is thirty six thousand. See, I have calculated here. See, we got it. Okay, contribution that is a twelve thousand, and sale is enough forty eight thousand. So difference is enough. If you deducting that is enough thirty six thousand is there. Okay, so thirty six thousand is there. That is enough variable cost. So in this sum, with the help of the financial leverage. we have calculated the ebit okay first then with the help of the operating leverage we have calculated the contribution then with the help of the pv ratio we have calculated the sales and finally with this we prepare the income statement okay so income statement we are prepared actually then will solve the another sol sum the capital structure of the jpcl limited is as follows equity share capital of 10 each 8 lakh 8% preference share capital of 10 each 625 10% debentures 4 lakh additional information is given profit after tax 30% operating expenses including depreciation rupees 90000 equity share dividend paid 15% and market price for equity share is in a 20 You are required to calculate the operating and financial leverage. Then we cover the preference and equity share dividend and the earning yield and price earning ratio. Okay, so here we will calculate first the operating and financial leverage. So before that, just we will calculate the dividends. Okay, we will calculate the dividend in accordance with that. Okay, so here. First, we will calculate interest on debenture. Okay, so here debenture is given four lakh. Okay, that is a nominal value into ten percent. See, it is a ten percent rate of the interest. So forty thousand is there. That is an interest on debenture first part. Then preference share dividend. So nominal value of the preference share is been given. That is in a six lakh twenty five thousand and rate of dividend eight percent. So six lakh twenty five thousand into eight percent. So here we will calculate that through the Excel sheet. Six lakh twenty five thousand into eight percent, fifty thousand. So fifty thousand is in a preference share dividend. Then equity share dividend. Equity share is eight lakh and rate of dividend is fifteen percent. So eight lakh into fifteen percent. So again eight lakh into fifteen percent. So one lakh twenty thousand is there. So one lakh twenty thousand is an equity share dividend. Okay. so we have calculated this part now we have to prepare the income statement also which is which will be help to calculate the leverage as also so
here income statement again sales is there okay variable cost contribution fixed cost ebt less interest ebt less tax eat less now in this sum they provide the information about the preference share capital so preference dividend is there so here the preference dividend is there and finally the amount available to equity shareholder divided by number of equity shares and finally you will get the eps okay finally you will get the eps now in this sum they provide the information about the profit after tax one lakh eighty two thousand so profit after tax is that is in a fat or it's it's called as an a eat one lakh eighty two thousand this information they provided one lakh eighty two thousand okay now with this information we can calculate the other other figures also see now i'm just calculating here that say ebt is there 100 and tax is there tax percentage has been given in the sum that is a 30 percent see here 30 percent so tax is a 30 percent which is given so 30 percent is there so 100 into 30 percent is equal to 30 so ebt minus tax is equal to eat or pat that is a 70 okay now pat is given in the sum that is a 1 lakh 82 thousand so i just consider here pat is a 1 lakh 82 thousand so we can calculate the ebt through the cross multiplication so here we can calculate the ebt is equal to 1 lakh 82 thousand into 100 upon 70 okay. so one lakh eighty two thousand chicken so one lakh eighty two thousand into seventy by hundred hundred percent one lakh eighty two thousand into hundred by seventy so two lakh sixty thousand is there okay so two lakh sixty thousand you got it here so two lakh sixty thousand is in a EBT. Understood. Again, I'm explaining that in this sum they provide the information about the EAT or PAT. Now I'm just here prepare a statement that EBT minus tax is equal to EAT or PAT. I just mentioned the PAT also. Okay. So EBT is a hundred and tax is thirty percent to thirty, so PAT is a seventy. Now, PAT is a 70% that is equal to 182,000 which is given in the problem. So, with this help, we calculate the EBT that is 2,60,000. So, we got the 2,60,000 is an EBT. Now, we will cross multiply that, verify that. Tax is at the rate of 30%. So, 2,60,000. See. So, 2,60,000 is into 30%. Okay. That is in a seventy eight thousand. So tax is in a seventy eight thousand is there. Now two lakh sixty thousand minus seventy eight thousand. See, it is the one lakh eighty two thousand. See, one lakh eighty two thousand. Your answer is correct. Okay. Now further interest on debenture. This is the interest on debenture. We have calculated earlier. See, interest on debenture is forty thousand. So we just put is there 40,000 is the interest on debenture. Now we have to calculate the EBIT. So EBIT minus interest on debenture is EBT. So we add back the interest on debenture into the EBT. You will get the EBIT. So that is another 3 lakh. 2 lakh 60,000 plus 40,000 is 3 lakh. So if you see 3 lakh minus 40,000, 2 lakh 60,000. So this much is there. Then preference dividend also we have calculated. Preference dividend is 50,000. 
तो यार फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डिविडेंस तो फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज देयर तो अमाउंट अवेलेबल टू द इक्विटी शेयर होल्डर दैट वी कैन कैलकुलेटेड है सी यर वन लैक एटी टू थाउजेंड माइनस फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओके दैट इज द वन लैक थर्टी टू थाउजेंड ओके दैट इज द वन लैक थर्टी टू थाउजेंड तो यार दिस इज द वन लैक थर्टी टू थाउजेंड then for calculating the eps the formula is an amount available to the equity share holder divided by the number of equity shares okay so we calculate the number of equity share now total equity share capital is 8 lakh the share price is then a 10 rupees each so number of shares is there see number of equity shares is equal to 8 lakh divided by 10 so that is the 80000 so here 80000 is there okay so amount available to equity share holder divided by number of equity shares so here see eps is equal to amount available to equity share holder divided by number of equity shares so amount available 1 lakh 32000 okay divided by number of equity shares that is an 80000 which has been calculated ओके, सो वन लैक थर्टी टू थाउजेंड एंड एटी थाउजेंड तो वन पॉइंट सिक्सटी फाइव वन पॉइंट सिक्सटी फाइव ओके देन हियर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दी इंटरेस्ट कॉस्ट सो यर ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसिस वन पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ ई बी आई टी विच एज बिन गिवन इंक्लूडिंग डेप्रिसिएशन रुपीज नाइनटी थाउजेंड सो यसर्न विद फिक्स कॉस्ट दे आर नॉट प्रोवाइड डिटेल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट दी ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसिस सो देर फॉर ओनली वन हेड इज गिवन डेप्रिसिएशन एंड डेप्रिसिएशन इज फिक्स कॉस्ट सो विल एज्यूम दैट ओनली वन फिक्स कॉस्ट इज देर सो डेप्रिसिएशन वी विल कंसिडर दैट सो डेप्रिसिएशन इज ना ओके नाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वी कैन कैलकुलेट द कंट्रीब्यूशन सो वी एड बैक फॉर गेटिंग द कंट्रीब्यूशन थ्री लैख प्लस नाइन्टी थाउजेंड दैट इज द थ्री लैख नाइन्टी थाउजेंड 